Who is this? Oh, let's play a little plot. Can play some just in regular blitz. New favorite pastime of XQC is watching two-year videos. Yeah. Let's go Bishop C4. Do I play Genshin Impact? I do, yeah. I'm going to try to... My rating is really, really, really low right now. So I want to adopt this dude. I want to get my rating back to uh, 30, 3200. Let's castle. Uh, and just play H3. He can go Bishop G4, but I'm not worried. So I'll go here. Can play Bishop G5 to hit the Knight, maybe. Whoa, I did not expect that. That looks dubious to put it mildly yeah I'm gonna go this is blitz right yeah this is blitz just making sure this is blitz and I'm not losing my mind I just hit the pawn on f6 and goes h5 now I can't take I can take f6 but I think 93 is just a very good move we go here now I have rook a d1 and I'm looking very very good here okay I expected that now which rook I guess I'll go with my f rook to d1 I don't know if F rook is best or the other rook is better, but it is what it is. 3183, yeah, it's just not a very good rating, frankly. Now, I played G3, G4, also very possible, but G3 is probably good enough. Okay, I'm going to play A3 here. Idea to play B4 at some point. Probably, ooh, he takes, which I, ooh, I really don't like. Okay, now I'm just going to play, uh, I guess I'll go A4, just take away any weakness here on the uh, queen side, maybe A5. But I think I'm just going to play here stack the two towers go here go uh I do have c5 maybe if I go c5 d5 takes 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 I am winning that exchange trade e4 queen f4 um let's think c5 d5 takes 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 I know this looks good to me Now I can take, and I, I assume this is winning, but maybe I'm missing something. Takes, takes. Now I can take with the queen. I can also take, um, I mean, I assume this has to be winning. I have queen d5. I also have rook takes and queen f4, which is probably quite good too. If I take and check. Yeah, I know this looks winning to me. He's playing very, very fast, I just realized. He's playing extremely fast, so I will just check and take, I guess. Did I miss rook d5? I gotta be a little bit careful here. Um, I can play rook f5, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna force the queens off. I'm really, really slow here. I gotta speed up a lot. It goes queen d7. I think I will check and I think I'm just just doing very well here King before I take with check King six I take King d6 only move but this must be winning right yeah this has to be winning yeah it's just winning because I can go after this h3 pawn resigns let's keep going play g6 here I'll probably play a6 b5 keep it very simple or c6 d5 let's play the Gurganidze setup um named after the famous uh grandmaster from Atlanta Georgia Gurganidze let's play bishop f3 e6 here oops that's a blunder I check and take on g4 very good maybe not a huge blunder but a blunder nonetheless takes he can't takes he loses the rook in the corner um I guess I'll go here to hit the pawn on a four let's go here and I have five I mean again I think I'm gonna play c5 here I'm gonna I'm gonna go right after him with c5 uh he goes there let's play knight c6 takes now this does give me 95 here you can also just I guess I'll just take and take e5. Why not? Good old, good old pin here. He materials even, but he has double pawns. I have a really good structure in the center of the board. Okay. I guess I'll just play a5. Try to weaken his pawns here on the queen side. Takes here, target the rook, win the pawn. This is going to be game over very, very soon. 
Bro, I had to watch five ads. Um, just talk to, talk to um, <laughs> talk to Twitch. Uh, I played E4, right? Let's keep doing it. How good is 2000 Rapid on Chess.com? Quite good, quite good. Didn't Igor say yesterday he wouldn't shave his beard for six months if he got 15,000 subs? I was considering it. Um, what is this? It's not correct. Probably I'm going to play C4 somewhere in here soon. Just going to go A3. If A4, I'll drop back and play C4 later. Uh, I could try to take and play Knight F7, but it doesn't work. So I'm just going to go A4, maybe take. Do you think with one month break of chess your skill would drop no not at all actually very unlikely I, I i i took a long break when i was younger i took about six months away from the game b5 very bad moves that weakens the c6 pawn now this wooden shield isn't really all that well placed yeah i took about six months away from the game um let's go here oh i had bishop f4 too which i'm gonna play now yeah i mean black's in a world of hurt here i'm not even sure what he's supposed to do this this is um okay i will just take takes and i take the knight i think i can just take with a bishop because now i take and that's just losing Uh, now I'll just play where takes a5 and take the pawn. Uh, I can play knight f5 here. I can also go rook d1 check. I think rook d1 is best. Should be winning. I have bishop c6. I have rook c5, etc. Very good. Check and rook c5 here. Just play h. So thank you so much to uh thank you so much to X Pro Legend for the three fleshy QT, Brad and Sprinnels for the six months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go bishop c6. Thank you so much to Anchor Bear for the uh gifted sub as well. Uh now the question is what is the easiest way to win here? I guess I'll just go H4, fix the weakness here, and maybe play G3, create a connect three. But also play F3. Bishop F3 also probably very good here to hit the pawn. Was it check because you don't want the king of center? No, it's because if I played knight F5, I thought he had another move. But no, check was actually probably, yeah, probably the best move. Or not the best move. There probably were better moves than that. Okay, I go here, and that's game over. Okay, I'm gonna play C6. I'll play a Karl Khan here. Uh, let's play this one. Win streak. I'm trying to win 10 in a row. I want to get my rating back to 3200. It's very disgusting, 3190, which is just not very good for a player of my caliber. Um, Rook D1. He wants to play D4. I'm not gonna let him play D4, so I'll go D4 myself, and then I'm gonna play like Knight C6 here. Could play Bishop H6 to trade the Knights. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Trade, trade, or not Knights. Trade the Bishop. Sorry. Go here, and I will trade the bishop's next move. The e5 looks like a... Maybe not a mistake, but not a great move. Okay, I'm just gonna... Castle here, I have rook b8. I don't really understand what he's doing. Of course I take. You can take on e5 too, but I have rook b8. I definitely don't want to trade the... Um trade the knights here because then his bishop gets active his bishop is quite passive here with all these pawns and i have rook b8 lurking i have knight d5 knight f4 quite scary for white goes a5 another move that i don't particularly agree with um i think i'm just gonna go like queen e7 and rook b8 here i really like my position i make it look easy thank you so much i try this queen a6 not the move that i expected 
Now I'm gonna go here, target the pawn. Now I go here, and now my knight is jumping. He's got dark square weaknesses to deal with. It's not very pretty for white. His queen is also in kind of a little bit of trouble here on the rim. And now I just trapped his queen. Queen c4, 95, GG. Better luck next time, homie. All right, we got the win. Let's keep going. Four up, four down. Keep playing e4. We're, what, five away? Uh, I will still play knight c3 here. Go bishop c4. d3, of course. I'm going to play queen f3 anyway. Not, not a very good move, but I'll do it anyway. Now, I can obviously trade here if I want to, but I think I'm just going to go knight g2. Keep this very, very simple. Knight bd7, logical move. Uh, I'm going to play h3 to stop any funky bishop g4. I'm going to go knight g3. Idea knight f5 here. Again, all this is very standard. Nothing too crazy. Play the Evans. Um, I could play the Evans, but I don't know. Okay, now I can drop back here. I can also play knight a4, which is interesting, but... Um... I think I'm just going to drop the bishop back. I really want to see which way he's castling. So I'm kind of confused. Is he castling kingside or is he castling queenside? I want to see which way. He's going queenside. Okay. that That's a useful piece of information. Now I'll play knight f5. Force him to take. Drop back. h6. That's a pretty weird move. Um, let's go here and castles, I guess. I think it's spike up for the prime thing so much. Do a bond cloud. This guy's too good for that. Do you consume sugar? I don't know what you mean by do I consume sugar. Um, I take, of course. I mean, this is really looking good for me. I've got the double op combo. Okay, I think I'm actually going to end up castling kingside. Wasn't my intention to go kingside. I was going to go queenside, but... He's created these weird weaknesses that I assume I can play against. I've got the double op combo as well. Plays h5, which looks very dubious, to put it mildly. I'm going to play d4. Just keep opening up the center of the board. a5 is lurking now as well. He can't go g5, so I take and win. Numa, numa, yay. Numa, numa, yay. Numa, 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 yay. Okay, I think I'm just going to play a5. Try to play on the queen side too. G5, very bold. Um, very bold, actually. Maybe insanely bold. Wait, Queen F5 is a move. Um, I don't really want to take on E6. I should be winning here. Maybe not win. Maybe winning's too strong, but I should have some very serious attacks. So I'm going to go Rook A7 and maybe Queen E2 or something. I mean, I have Queen A6 here, D5. A lot of big threats. Wait a second, wait a second. I played d5. With, he's going to take on g2. I played queen a6, rook b8, d5. Should be winning somehow. I can always just go g3. But I don't want to burn too much more time. I'm just going to play g3. I don't even know if it's right. But I, I don't want to burn too much more time. H4, I have G4. I'm getting a little bit too low on the clock here. I think there's the new man over the 12 and Tommy Woodpecker for the 3. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Rook A1 was also maybe a move first. Okay, it goes H4. I mean, is Rook A1 really not winning? Takes, takes, check. I mean, this, ha this must be winning. I mean, I also have queen a6 maybe as well, but whatever. I mean, you can go h2, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to go g4 here. Just close close everything up here on the king side before you can get any kind of big attack. Once I get f3, I'm very safe here. Everything is very consolidated now. Numa, numa, yay. Numa, 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 yay. Okay, I'm just going to go d5 all aboard. Okay, it goes knight f4. I assume I can take. I mean, I assume this is winning. Hard to believe this isn't winning. 
It might not be winning, though. I go here. He's going to check, and I'm going to take. I also have Rook G1 as well. Check. Or Rook G1, rather not check, sorry. I can play Queen C4, Queen F7. Bishop D5, King C7. I'm going to check. Whoa, what happened? Go here. Let's go back. Still queen d5 is still b4 as well. I have misplayed this a little bit. b4 not win. It's mate and uno with queen a4. Okay, yeah, this just win. I play rook a2 and now I just win the game. Check and now checkmate. All right, there we go. Halfway there, five of five down. Let's keep going. Thank you so much. And Neural Coffee Cup for the 10 and J Rastek for the uh, 11. Thank you so much. All right, let's go G6, Bishop G7, and E5 here. Play D4. D4, not a very good move, by the way, but whatever. Still chess. Uh, I'm going to play F6 here. Probably not a very good move. He's going to go like B3. Okay, he goes Knight H4 right away, so I go here. Don't really want to trade. I guess I'll just go knight g7. If he takes, I'll take with a knight, and I should be okay-ish. He also has f5, which could be kind of scary, too. I guess I'll take with a pawn. I should take with a knight, actually. Mistake by me. Go d7 here. Maybe I'm castling queen side now. Probably I'm going to go queen side. I can also play h6 here, maybe. Play h6. If he takes, I take back. I'm going to castle. I think I'm okay, because after takes, takes, I, I'm holding all the glue still. And now I can also take this knight, and white really just doesn't have any attack on the king side. Because b3, of course, I take. Now I'm going to play a5 and knight b4, and I'm going to go after this pawn on the queen side. And I should just be better here. Okay, I think I will just um, go here and stack my two rooks. Go here. Now, the key for me in this position is how do I play this to win? I think queen d6 is a good move. I hold the pawn. I want to go knight b4, but I don't want to hang this pawn on e5. So I guard, and then I prepare to go knight b4 here. I could trade all the rooks down, but I think knight b4 is a good move. Because now he has this permanent weakness on c2. He can't get rid of the bastion. Goes rook f1, which looks very wrong. I think I just go, I go here and take, take. Oh, I missed c3, actually. That's a good move. I'll take and play queen d4, though. Again, this doesn't look very good for white. I take, and now I'm just going to reroute my other knight. g5, I take, and now I can even reroute the knight to c6 or the knight to f4. He's just, he, he is in bad shape. Question is, what's the easiest way to win? Knight a6 looks very good, just to go knight c5. Very, very clean, very simplistic. Can't go back to guard. He's going to lose a pawn here somewhere. Here we got a win. Next game coming up. Keep going. E4. We're three away from nine. Plays the French. Let's play King's Indian attack. Let's go knight bd2. Put that bishop in a coma. Okay, let's go here. Let's castle. Uh, this is a kind of a little bit of a weird setup by him, actually. I'm going to play a4. I don't, this doesn't look right, but I could be wrong. I don't think this is correct. Take and play e5. Okay, my man creating a lot of Swiss cheese here. Big weaknesses on all these light squares. A lot of Swiss cheese here. I don't know what he's angling for. I go here, I have this. There's Swiss cheese everywhere. A lot of weaknesses on the light squares. I could go for some Swiss cheese right now, actually. That sounds kind of good. Go here, maybe 93. Switch cheese, is that the real term? Uh, I don't know if that's a real term, but I think it makes sense. I think we do actually. I have heard strong players use that phrase. It's just switch cheese. I mean, you'll see my pawn, it covers these two squares for the knight. Knight can't move, but he has these weaknesses because he's pushed these three pawns. So he's just creating weakness after weakness after weakness. Let's go here. If he takes, I just take the B shop. I have knight d5. I'm just going to go here. Again, great squares for all my pieces. 
double op combo weakness on c5 i think i just go here maybe i said make sure there's no funny business on the king's side i don't see it right off go h4 remove the knight i mean it's just terrible for black as long as i don't do something insane here this is technically already close to lost go here not to d2 because then he does get knight d4 my bishop gets trapped now how do i win is the question because of course i am much better here i'm gonna trade takes with the knight i kind of expect that now i can play for the domination with bishop d5 i have a good old wooden shield here the wooden shield obviously very very strong I don't want to go queen I think I'm just going to go here and drop back and then maybe qu play queen h5 this is still good for me but this isn't actually as winning as it should be I guess I'll go here I'm going to play b3 just to hold the light square pawn here go back Somehow I need to... I don't know if I want to trade queens or not. That's the only question here. All right, let's play an endgame. I'm going to play the two bishops versus the uh, versus the two knights. Let's go f4 here. I'm kind of curious to see how good his technique is as well. Play h5, of course. Fix the weakness. I'm gonna play b4 try to open up the queen side a little bit here you can't move the knight because then my king gets in which is important as well uh, i guess i'll just go here maybe okay he is playing this quite well actually i do this so go here maybe bishop e3 or something here target the knight of course but now I get to win a pawn on a5 so knight c6 I take and if I win the pawn on a5 I should be winning I'm gonna play like f5 or something I guess I'll pre-move because it's a safe pre-move goes knight d4 I assume I just take if f5 I take I mean you can take but what is this idea exactly I go here knight e3 king h3 of course this should be winning because my pawn should be very fast here. It takes, which, I mean, this... In no world should this be a, a draw. No world should this be a draw. I think I have two pawns here. That wasn't very good. Thank you so much to MasterCard for the two months. Oh, let's play a Balrog. No, he plays Knight 3. Okay, let's play A6 then. Go here in C5, of course. Takes with a bishop, which is interesting. I guess I'll just go here. I think E5 should be a solid move. I just take. He has knight D5, I guess, but I can always go queen B8. Okay, so he goes bishop B3, so I'll play knight F6. Already I'm doing very well. I mean, at some point I'm going to get some big attack here, I think, on the C file. B4 is a very big threat as well. So as long as I get my development complete here, um, I will be in really, really good shape to win this game. B4 right away, he had knight d5. Wait, now b4, knight d5. Knight d5, I just take and go e4. Because now the bishop's on e7. That's a free knight. Let's go here, target the bishop. It's castle, because if he takes, I just take. Or no, I takes, I have rookie a. Whoops, no, I go here. Yeah, there we go. If I, if I take a6 and he gets bishop f6, he's actually doing well. <laughs> Two away. Let's keep going. e4. Thank you so much to Shamat for the uh, 11 months. Thank you so much to Shamat. Okay, let's play a classic uh, Alpen Sicilian here. Let's go here. This is what I played against Coach Danny, right? Coach Daniel Wrench, I think. I'll play h3. I mean, I'm just going to castle here. 
Probably goes e5 or e6. He plays e6. Okay, so I guess I'll play d4, knight b5, of course. You only gain plus two for a win, yeah. It's not not exactly ideal, let's put it that way. Um, now, he decides to castle here, which I think is slightly wrong, but it's not, like, bigly wrong. You can obviously trade and take. It's definitely not right, though. I know that. Now, it's interesting because he's castled, so I don't know if I should take with the knight or not. But I still think it's, I still think I should keep this on the safer edge because this guy has not demonstrated good technique. Now I have bishop f3. Okay, he's going to trade. I'll take. You could also go bishop c5, maybe, but I take. Go here. All very solid. I don't really want to take massive risks. Uh, we have Arena King starting, I guess, in 12 minutes, right? I didn't realize how soon it starts. But yeah, Arena Kings is starting in 12 minutes. So I need to win. I need to win quick, actually. I just realized. I forgot. Yeah, I, I just completely forgot about Arena Kings. Yeah. Okay, he goes for it, which I didn't really expect him to go for it, but... Okay, let's see. Is it going to work out for him? I mean, there's a lot of pressure now. This pin... I mean, this does not look very attractive for black. At B4 is a massive threat. I'm not even sure what he's supposed to do, because... I'm going to go B6, I guess. I mean, again, this, does, this looks completely insane. take and I'm gonna play Queen a6 here I also have Rook b1 and Knight b5 I mean okay wait a second if I go c6 here what's his move no I think c6 is just winning I'm just gonna go Queen a6 next move and he's in for a very very rough time this is not gonna work out well for my opponent I'm quite sure of that okay I mean this again like completely insane he's just gonna get blown away b8 I mean take and I'm just gonna go rook d1 here and there's all kinds of bad things happening to my opponent he goes king e5 trying to escape the knight f3 is good but I think just queen c7 is cleanest because king e4 queen f4 is mate and one if you blocked I just check yeah we go one more more to go all right now I can actually just take I'm gonna take I'm gonna play this line it's not probably best but I'm gonna do it anyway b5 is maybe actually is b5 a move here probably not a good move but I'm gonna play it anyway so I want something very sharp and double-edged I don't want something simple here I want something that's messy um and complicated there's b3 now I can obviously take I mean I think I'm gonna go c3 though because if I get this protected pass pawn he's in a world of hurt here he's gonna have to play e4 I assume but what does he do now is the point so if I get a5 b4 I get a protected pass pawn that's just marching up the board really fast here it goes knight c2 now I could play b4 of course but I'm not going to I'm just gonna finish my development by castling queen f3 doesn't seem to do anything in my opinion I'm just gonna go b4 anyway a4 now because if he takes I get b3 if he takes I take and I mean two pawns on the sixth is really really bad man he gets a pawn on c6 but again two pawns on the sixth very hard to believe that he can stop both of these pawns thank you so much to comrade bull for the 14 of his course I trade if I go to d7 I can go to c7, but I'm going to go to d7 because I don't want him to have some tactic on my queen after queen c7, d5 here. Oh, he does have knight e5, but again, even this, I mean, if this is not winning, I mean, these pawns are so fast here. He has bishop h6, of course, but I'm not worried. Why am I still playing with this guy? Because I want to adopt him at 10-0. I mean, these pawns are just, they're literally at the very end of the board. I don't see how he's going to stop them. There's rook d1, of course. There's queen g4, trade the queens, and I mean, he cannot stop the pawns with queens off the board. Um, <laughs> he's still desperately trying, but again, after b2, I mean, good luck stopping the pawns. I'm literally one pawn square away from winning the game. What is 8k? That is Arena King starting in about 12 minutes. 
They rook c4. I mean, I guess I'll just trade and go bishop a6, of course. Game over. All right, you guys, I'm taking a short break and we'll be right back. Um, and we'll be playing in Arena Kings.